How is the chassis? It's alright. <laughs> is the wishbones done? No. Are the mounts on? Mate, the chassis's not even done. We're getting to that point where it's kind of like cutthroat, we're, we're getting too far behind on things. And if you don't take control, then we're not going to make it to Silverson. Because when do you think we can start the car? Oh, when do you think we can fire The car's got to be started by next week by the time Joe leaves. You can't go and expect to be, compete in every single challenge if you haven't tested. Something will go wrong and it will be too late to go wrong. We're trying to rush to make the um, testing on the 26th of June. Um, that is a lot of work. Yeah. We're done. Happy days. So fucking uneven. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just a bit of uh, scaffolding. Don't know what it is, but. Look, it's, it's new chassis. Beautiful, but still needs work. So bars to go, so we've tacked in everything in front of the main uh, front hoop, from the front hoop to the main hoop there's two bars which I've cut and shaped, we just need to tack them and weld it and then um, on the rear there's got 13 bars left on the rear and then we just need to add the brackets so we can mount the engine before Monday so Joe can do the electrics but we're almost there. Yeah, we're, like, we're in, we'll make it. They were worried about us obviously not making it but I said we've got plenty of time to make it for testing. Yeah. As as I think like, it's going to be a, one more week of not really seeing much progress because it's going to be a lot of prep work but as soon as all that's done then we can actually start putting all the components on the car it's going to yeah. come together really quickly It shouldn't take too long A couple more weeks, give me a couple more weeks bit, I think the big thing will be obviously Joe getting all the wiring done and getting the engine started in two days that's, that's going to be a challenge for him but I'm pretty sure he can do it We're cutting her off. It's time for her to take her first steps. Kind of, not really. No, we're basically cutting the chassis off. It's 90% welded. Today is Sunday the 11th of June, 23 past 11, 9. Oh my god. <laughs> it feels like 11 for sure. We've done a lot of long hours recently and to be honest I am feeling quite tired because of it. Just because of all the trip in York and then the drive down and then two long nights here and early mornings and stuff. So we've put yeah. in two long nights back to back over the weekend just to get the chassis finished but glad we did. It's all done pretty much. It's all come together quite quickly once we started to get our heads down and that's really what we were doing. And now that we've got the chassis and Joe's coming in tomorrow to get the engine running, um, 
it should be pretty simple go forward the whole team needs to pull together now and put them brackets on and then soon we'll be spray painting engine will be in engine will be running like you say all on four wheels team morale is on its way up so before exams and everything it was pretty dim just because we don't have a chassis and people are getting really like unmotivated but now that we have the chassis people see real progress every single day we come in there's more things being mounted more things being welded they're just the big push of the electrics now get them in tomorrow hopefully big push from joe hutchinson and then should be all good hopefully engine running midweek excited yeah so um yesterday came in did a little bit of welding um, and then worked on getting the engine mounts done straight away basically because Joe's going to be in for midday. And then mounted the engine with Gerald, Dom and Joe and then Stuart as well helped us drop the engine in. This is engineering at its finest, one man doing the job, three man looking. And because the chassis is a lot longer and wider, it literally just slotted in. Um, once the engine was in, helped Joe Hutchinson put all the electrics on. Routed the harness is the same as last year, so majority of it was basically just plug and play. Everyone is now the electrical team. <laughs> Where would you be without electrons, man, really? Probably back in Bedford. <laughs> <laughs> once everything was connected um, and connected correctly. What? I want the bread. Fucking hell, Joe. I'll redo it. I didn't spec. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you can find another... You said just find a spare cable. Yeah, okay, mm. I should have been more specific. Um, did some final tests, uh, making sure everything was okay. We tried to start in the car and it didn't run for the first time. One of the um, bolts on the fuel pump snapped off, which is unfortunate. Sna snapped off? Just by itself? Yeah, snapped off, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fixed it and yeah, with it about five hours or so, we had the car up and running. <laughs> it was pure elation from everybody in the team and we were all just really, really excited and, and proud of Joe as well because we know how much uh, turmoil he went through last year trying to rush to get it all fixed before Silverstone and to get it to run within a few hours of wiring the harness was yeah pure elation for the whole team. And it kind of cranked up and the, the sound gave everyone that hope that we needed. It's such a weight lifted off of us, such a relief because we only have Joe for two days before he's going travelling um, and we're happy for him but also <laughs> we're not happy. <laughs> It was such a relief to get it done on the first day after only probably three, four hours max of like routing everything. And to hear it again for the first time in about 11 months, isn't it? Yeah, just, beautiful. Yeah, just unbelievable. Very happy. See, so, yeah, we have two extra weeks in last year, um, just because they put the, the dates back to where they were previously. Um, so we have basically six weeks to get the car finalized, which is more than enough time um, to get everything finished. And we're really excited to get is stuck in and hopefully make testing in a couple of weeks and see it on the track and try to simulate some of the dynamic events as well. Hopefully make testing. We will make testing. Usually if everyone's happy everyone thinks okay we've got time now let's relax however yeah we must keep pressing on we must keep working hard. Where the car is now like the last month the the way the team's pulled together has been really good like as soon as exams are over everyone's been coming in every day like everything's getting worked on there's been progress every day like months of progress is getting done in like half a week now everyone's a lot more motivated and it's a lot more of just the key people coming in now as well so tyler with the the body um, and james with his side pods it's meant that we can take the junior engineers and one they get experience doing that but they also get to see how we operate because throughout the year it's been hard without having any manufacturing they can actually see how we operate as a team yeah and then yeah like the body's coming together that's getting manufactured and it's quite a big morale boost when chassis is nearly there, you've got like a, a mould for the body and stuff like that. Especially for junior engineers as well, like they've been coming in as well and seeing the progress of the cars, like inspiring to keep on the team and keep pushing forward, which is great. So you have the body, that's basically the part that covers the chassis. Uh, that's the first part of the car that comes into contact with air. So it's really important, uh, it's designed properly so that the drag is low, air resistance is low. 
Um, you have the side pods, so that house the radiator, which is essential for cooling. Uh, and again, if the radiator is just left open, that's a lot of drag produced. I think we have a much larger aero team now. I think last year, I mean, in terms of design, it was just basically me and the team principal sort of working together. But this year we have me and have, we have a proper team. So we have James, Dion, and with the manufacturing, we have Ben and Justin also helping. Uh, me, Dion and James uh, did our dissertations on aerodynamics. So that has helped us a lot. We are good friends and we have been doing the same course. So we see, see each other every day. Um, we know how we work. Uh, we know each other's strengths and weaknesses. I've been working with Justin mainly. Uh, he's the one who has joined the aero team uh, from the manufacturing phase, not the design phase. Uh, and it's been, it's been really, really good. Um, I think he's really punctual, very disciplined, um, and picks up things really, really quickly. And yeah, that's kind of what, we, what you want uh, from a person who's joining from a student. You don't really want the, them to have exceptional skills. You sort of want them to de develop skill, skills as you go along. Uh, but you really want that sort of desire to you know, learn and you know, be punctual and disciplined. So yeah, I think Dustin is going to be a really valuable uh, member next year. Uh, we're about to start laying some carbon fiber. So we've laid some cling film on already to ensure no resin gets onto the foam because it will melt as we found out last year. So first we do a layer of resin, thin layer, then a peel ply, then we'll add the carbon fiber and then we'll resin again. If there's any aim of this year, it's reliability. Last year we didn't get too much of a testing time, but this year we've got quite a bit of testing time available if we finish the car on time, so that's why we really want testing, just to make sure everything's reliable. <laughs> I'm worried about getting reliable testing, like seat time for everyone. Because um, as we saw last year with Geo, if, if someone has an accident or anything like that and we can't fix it at the track, and if the engine, anything cat catastrophic with the engine goes off, then we can't really fix those sorts of things. <laughs> Wishbone is fucked. Oh, damn. The wishbone is fucked. Fuck. It drives f great, but yeah. fuck. We can make a new one. It's okay, mate. We can fix it. We don't have the welder. Um, turn the ignition on. And turn the fan on. So testing is a, an opportunity for us to test the actual car on the track um, and test all the systems we designed this year and then hopefully get some data as well on how the car is performing. We're going to Manston Airport um, in Kent. So we're going on the 26th of June, hopefully for three days. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. That. So we have about three more weeks, two and a half more weeks to get everything ready for that. Um, and it's looking quite promising as long as everything sticks to the timetable, which is it has been for the last month or so. Sometimes you feel like you just have to do everything and I understand why Gio basically last year he just designed the whole car essentially before like we had a strong team with but around us. It's both of you. You need to get in before the fucking midday. No, but before well, yeah. Yeah. Like this is what I'm saying, yeah. Midday is not good enough. Alright, what? One o'clock, two o'clock? Oh my god. Might as well come after lunch. 
No, you're coming up now. Yeah, mate, the car's to supposed to be done on Monday. Why are we still here instead of not exactly. testing? Exactly. You've got your piece because your client handled it. Like, I think we've all just been lollygagging because we've had two weeks since the engine's been running. And yeah. what's actually been like, what's actually been done? I know it looks like there's not been much because we haven't bolted much to the car. We have the pickup points and stuff, but even in the workshops, the only thing that's really been done is the wheel assemblies. Yeah. And we haven't really got a lot of the car finished at all. And it'd be a massive rush to get everything done by Friday. And like with James with the radiator and stuff, like we'd be put, we'd be doing like temporary things. It's not yeah. really worth. It's not worth doing that. No, we're wasting time. It's going to be more time to take it off. Design again properly. Yeah. No, it's already designed. It's yeah. just that we don't have the floor. That's the only thing we don't have. Yeah. Now the plan was to make testing for Monday. We missed that deadline, so then we thought we might be able to take the car on Wednesday down to Manson Airport, and then we haven't made that deadline either. It's Wednesday today, and the car hasn't made any progress really. So um, the plan was to make it to Friday, and that's not looking likely at all. And we didn't want to go out of the way and book all the transport and everything, and ask for favours and load everything into a van just to get there and have a half prepped car and have a failure on the track or spend loads of money to get there just to have all the effort sort of wasted so we're gonna set the deadline a little bit back a little bit um, so it gives a bit more time to have the car completely finished a lot of it was temporary things so you can see there with the radiator um, it, we were going to use last year's radiator just to get us through testing and there was a lot of things like that that we were just sort of temporarily making so that we would have things ready for the, the car but now if we set the, the testing back a few weeks then it gives us time to finish the car um, in this entirety as it would be at Silverstone a few weeks a couple of weeks <laughs> yeah a few and a couple is a big difference when we're only three weeks away yeah so we're pushing the testing back by two weeks and that gives us time to finish everything as it should be at Silverstone in there. Two weeks? Two weeks, yeah. How long have we got to a competition? Three weeks. Three weeks today, we're supposed to be heading to Silverstone. Are we in a good place? No. We're in a bad place. Considering we had the engine running on what the... I think we came back on the 9th, 10th, 11th. We had the engine running on the 12th. It's the 28th today. So we've had exactly two weeks, no, we've had 16 days between then having the engine running and getting a rolling chassis and we still don't have that, it's really, it's really poor from, it's been a really bad effort, I think. Um, the majority, over these 16 days, haven't had full effort from a lot of people and it's been that sort of running theme for the, throughout the year and now we've gotten to a few weeks before competition and it hasn't really sparked that fire for the majority so we're still where we yeah we still haven't made enough progress to go testing unfortunately with our current work environment i think we made it we make it very laid back because you know we're all friends at the end of the day so it's sort of we don't want to be harsh to our friends like like bro like do your work but i think sometimes we we do need to be harsh on ourselves so then we don't suffer uh, down the line. I still feel a lot of pressure from sort of like the management side just to get everything done in time and to finish the car and have a working car for Silverstone and I um, don't want to let anybody down from the uni and from faculty advisors, industrial supervisors um, yeah and it's just really disheartening to see the car and the state it's at when we should be we should be at testing right now and having a fun time enjoying it that's what former students about is to be able to go testing and actually see the fruits of your labor for that throughout the year and we don't get to enjoy the fun part of testing and everything like we should have been able to this year so it seems like it's going to be much the same as last year where everything's last minute we're going testing a week before the competition if anything breaks when we go testing then puts even more stress on the rest of the team but yeah we just don't get to have that fun part as we should have this year because everything's fallen back and we've just left things far too late again um, and I hate making the same mistake twice and it seems like we nobody really learnt from our lessons last year so we're just back where we were to be honest and sucks to say but we won't really have much testing and it's probably going to be just as stressful as last year at Silverstone because 
we're going in sort of blind again where we're not going to have as much time as we wanted to to shake down the car and learn its weaknesses and get driver training but it is what it is we'll make the most of it at Silverstone and still make it on track it's just more, compl more complicated than it should have been